MLCS would like to show you how to make a drawer lock joint. In this video we cover how to make an overlapping drawer front and an inset drawer front. We make both of these joints using the MLCS drawer lock router bit. MLCS offers a setup block that helps you set the height of the router bit as well as the fence. Here using the setup block we set the height of the bit to 3 eighths of an inch above the table. We slide the setup block in until it's a snug fit and set the height of the router bit. We do the same thing to set the fence in place. Set the setup block on the router bit until it's a snug fit and then adjust your fence into place and lock it. Because there is two cuts on the setup block, you can use the setup block either laying down horizontally or standing up vertically. The first cut we are going to make is the drawer sides. The drawer sides get cut standing vertically facing out. To prevent tear out, use double face tape and attach a scrap piece of wood to back your good stock. We use a vertical feather board to hold our stock in place when we proceed to make our first cut. This cut is done in one pass at full depth. The next cut is the drawer front. Again we will use double face tape and put a scrap piece of wood to back our good stock to prevent any sort of tear out. The first joint we are going to show you how to make is the flush joint for an inset drawer. This cut is made in multiple passes until we reach proper depth. For each pass we move the fence back in small increments. Because we are making this joint flush for an inset drawer, we want the depth of the router bit to match the thickness of the drawer side stock. Before making the last pass, we use the drawer side stock to set the fence to proper depth. Using this technique to set the fence will ensure a perfectly flush joint when you are finished. To adjust this cut from being a flush cut to being an overlapping joint is very simple. Because the fence is already set for a flush cut, any distance you move the fence back and increase the depth of cut, that will be the amount of overhang that you have. Again, we do these cuts in multiple passes in small increments to assure a smooth, clean cut. Make these passes until you've reached the maximum depth for your overhang. Once you've reached that depth, you are ready for glue up. Now that we are done making our cuts, we will do a dry fit to make sure the joint goes together nice and snug. Now you can add glue, clamp the drawer together, and you have created a very strong, durable joint. MLCS offers this bit both individually and in sets, so visit mlcswoodworking.com.